Number 10. Grace Randolph Unlike most people, Grace Randolph feels pretty comfortable around bees. That's because her mother was a beekeeper throughout her whole childhood, and she got used to being around them at a very young age. And while she may be accustomed to handling bees in ways that make her less likely to get stung than the average person, it still happens sometimes, and Grace is no more immune to the effects of a sting than anyone else. She received her worst sting yet in 2018, when she was 24 years old. Half her face ballooned, and one eye nearly swelled shut. Grace wasn't wearing her beekeeping suit when it happened, because she was just going outside to grab her tools, although she admittedly noticed that the bees seemed especially agitated that day. At the time, she was just learning the ropes of professional beekeeping, and considered herself a beginner at the trade. She posted some photos of her swollen face on social media, and went to the hospital to get checked out. Thankfully, Grace turned out not to be allergic to bees, and her symptoms were not life-threatening, but the doctor prescribed the NepiPen just in case. It took a few days for the swelling to go down, but she otherwise continued with her daily life just as normal. Number 9. Bear Grylls Bear Grylls is a famous adventurer who's perhaps best known for his fearless approach to wildlife. He starred in numerous nature-based shows, which often show him facing off with terrifyingly dangerous animals. In an ironic twist, however, the creature that put Grylls in the most danger was surprisingly small. While filming the series Treasure Island on a remote Pacific island in 2019, the daring TV host plunged a knife into a hornet's nest and pulled out a piece of honeycomb. He initially managed not to get stung, but a persistent hornet kept flying near his forehead. Grills tried to brush the persistent insect away from him, but this only agitated the hornet, which proceeded to sting the man in the face. At first, Grills played it cool, but it took just moments for his face to start swelling out of control, to the point where he could barely see out of one eye. After crossing paths with angry crocodiles, alligators, snakes, and other vicious predators, this was the most life-threatening situation that Grills had been in yet. Paramedics rushed to the scene and administered an EpiPen to prevent him from going into anaphylactic shock. He made a quick recovery after receiving the drug and went back to filming the show with a group of contestants who were visibly more shaken by the ordeal than Grills himself. Number 8. Kobe Freeman 20-year-old Kobe Freeman was enjoying a homemade burger outside his house in Utah one day in 2020 when he suddenly felt a sharp pain in his tongue. He ran to the bathroom mirror, opened his mouth, and was shocked to see that there was a bee inside of it. The insect had stung the young man's tongue, causing it to swell so big that he could barely keep it in his mouth, and his speech was distorted. Kobe posted a hilarious TikTok video explaining the ordeal, well, trying to at least, and showing the sting to his followers. Viewers offered their suggestions for some relief, including Benadryl, an ER visit, and letting bees sting him everywhere else so that his body proportions would even out. The healing process apparently went well, based on a comment Kobe posted a few days later, reassuring his concerned fans that he was alive and that the size of his tongue was about 50% back to normal. Number 7. Tortured Tree Trimmers A trio of landscapers based in Thousand Oaks, California wound up in the hospital last year after they were attacked by a swarm of bees in a customer's backyard. The three tree trimmers were simply doing their jobs at around half past noon one July day when they were more or less pelted by the insects. One worker fell from a cherry picker after dozens of bees gathered on a branch and swarmed him. He was too injured to flee the scene and was absolutely covered in bees by the time paramedics arrived. Fire Captain James Roscoe encouraged the man to run from the scene, but soon realized that he was too hurt to do so. He had no choice but to lay there, in severe pain, as the bees continued to sting him all over. The responding firefighters could have put on their bee suits, but it was quicker for them to throw on their fire gear. They attempted to suppress the swarm by spraying it with foam, but it had a limited effect on the large swarm, which consisted of around 45,000 bees. As soon as the rescue personnel managed to get enough bees off the victim to safely proceed, they loaded them onto a stretcher and rushed him to the hospital. By then, he reportedly had at least 200 stings to his face alone. The other two workers also went to the emergency room. Meanwhile, a professional was called to remove the hive, which sat high in the tree that the worker had fallen from. Someone had allegedly tried to knock the hive out of the tree, thereby triggering the attack. The removal crew safely relocated the colony to a property where it could be cared for and live undisturbed by humans. Number 6. Dozens of Stings A woman in her 60s was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time recently when a swarm of bees attacked her during a walk through a neighborhood 
he'd surprise Arizona. An exterminator was getting rid of the insects at a home nearby and dispersed the bees out into the yard as part of his routine protocol, and he unknowingly did so right as the woman was walking past. The swarm misdirected its anger at the innocent pedestrian and stung her at least 50 times. She was taken to the hospital while firefighters combated the bees, ultimately resorting to the use of foam to get them under control and keep the community safe. Luckily, the woman survived the attack and was reportedly in stable condition. Battalion Chief Julie Moore told Fox 10 Phoenix that bees normally leave people's homes on their own. When it comes to a particularly stubborn bunch, an exterminator should be called in to relocate the queen bee, and the others will automatically follow. But, as Moore pointed out, firefighters were left with no choice but to foam the swarm in order to protect the neighborhood, and they resort to doing so again in situations involving life safety. Number 5. Ryan Allen as a police officer in Hatboro, Pennsylvania, who routinely put his life on the line to serve his community, a bee sting was probably the last thing Ryan Allen expected to put his life at risk. But that's exactly what happened to the 35-year-old last October, when he had a rare and severe reaction to a sting and went into cardiac arrest. This was despite having no prior history of an allergy to bees. He was clinically dead for 20 minutes, and the lack of oxygen left Allen with a serious brain injury. EMTs managed to restart Allen's heart, but after spending months in rehab, he wasn't making the kind of progress the doctors had hoped to see. He had not regained the ability to perform any basic tasks and was in what medical experts call a disordered state of consciousness, meaning he was unaware of his surroundings. An MRI showed that key portions of Allen's brain had shrunk and were no longer functioning. Doctors ultimately concluded that he would not recover from the damage. His family took him home in early March and he received hospice care for what little time he had left. Allen passed away in early April, leaving behind a heartbroken wife and two sons, lots of friends, his police canine, and a nearly decade-long career they loved. His co-workers remembered him as a dedicated officer who played an instrumental role in starting the department's first canine unit. Number 4. Bee Swarm vs. Penguins Late last year, 63 members of an endangered African penguin colony were found dead near Cape Town, South Africa. South African National Parks launched an investigation into the mysterious mass die-off and were surprised to discover that the birds had been killed by a swarm of honeybees. Many dead bees were found at the site and an autopsy revealed that each penguin had succumbed to multiple bee stings. Sand Park marine biologist Alison Koch described the event as unusual and reassured the public that experts would continue to monitor the situation for new developments. Speaking with the AFP news agency, veterinarian David Roberts said that the stings were found mainly around the penguin's eyes. He echoed Koch's statements, stating that the attack was a rare occurrence and a fluke that experts don't expect to see often. Known for their unique markings and loud voices, African penguins are a smaller penguin species. They're also threatened by dwindling numbers. Over the last century alone, the population has decreased from around 1 million to roughly 55,000. Number 3. Brad Pheasant Motorcycle enthusiast Brad Pheasant was severely allergic to bee stings, but hadn't had a close call with death in over 35 years thanks to his EpiPen. Unfortunately, the life-saving medication got too expensive for him to afford, and he eventually found himself with no choice but to go without and hope they didn't get stung. So when the 61-year-old called his mother last summer to tell her that he had been stung four times, she knew his life was in imminent danger. She rushed over to her son's York, Pennsylvania home and found him unconscious and slumped over his bathtub. A nearby UPS man readily broke company rules to enter the home and perform CPR because at 79, Pheasant's mother wasn't strong enough to move and position him for the procedure. Paramedics eventually managed to restart his heart, but by then, the prolonged lack of oxygen Pheasant had endured left him brain dead. Doctors allowed the man's girlfriend and high school sweetheart Cheryl Henry to spend two days in Pheasant's hospital room while they kept him on life support. The pair had recently reconnected after both had experienced a series of failed relationships and were looking forward to a long future together before things turned tragic. Pheasant was pronounced dead just minutes before his family arrived at the hospital to say their final goodbyes. His biker friends held a fundraiser in his honor to raise money to buy EpiPens for people who can't afford them, which would have meant the difference between life and death for Pheasant. Their efforts will help prevent more needless deaths from happening just because someone can afford their medication. Number 2. A Paralyzed Farmer A recent report in the British Medical Journal details the terrifying experience of a farmer in India who showed up at an emergency room partially paralyzed after receiving 15 to 20 bee stings. 
Doctors soon realized that the 45-year-old patient was having a stroke. It's a possible but extremely rare side effect that bee stings can cause. The farmer's medical file did not mention him having an allergy to bee stings or any other pre-existing conditions that would have made his reaction to the stings predictable. And the effects of the sting weren't immediate. In fact, it took about six hours for the man to start feeling any concerning symptoms. By the time he went to the hospital, he was having trouble speaking properly and couldn't move his right arm or leg. An MRI found that he had a blocked artery, proving that he had, in fact, suffered a stroke. It was too late for the doctors to do anything about the stroke, so they treated the bee sting with steroids and antihistamines. When the farmer went to a follow-up appointment a month later, his speech had improved significantly and he had regained some muscle movement, according to the doctors who treated him. They recommended continued care, including additional brain imaging and a procedure to unblock the clogged artery, but the man declined any further treatment. Only a handful of similar cases have been reported in recent years throughout the globe, including a Scottish woman who was stung once and died from a hemorrhagic stroke. Number 1. Patient Wu A Taipei-based cardiologist named Lai Chao Hung recently went out of his way to remind the public that people with a family history of heart disease should pay particularly close attention to their health. The warning stems from a cautionary tale about a man who went to Nanto Hospital, where Dr. Chao Hung works, and complained of chest pain and body rashes. He had recently been stung by a bee while riding a scooter, but his symptoms weren't entirely related to the sting. While the patient, known only by the surname Wu, was allergic to bee stings, his chest pains were caused by a heart condition known as acute myocardial infarction. An exam revealed that one of Mr. Wu's arteries were completely blocked. He underwent an operation to insert a stent, which has provided him with some relief. But Dr. Chao Hong used the situation as a platform to remind the public to take care of their heart health since it took a bee sting for Mr. Wu to become fully aware of the gravity of his ailments. The patient was also an obese, habitual smoker with hypertension and high blood sugar, whose lifestyle most likely contributed to his deteriorating health. Because the blood flow to Mr. Wu's heart was sufficient, he didn't experience any day-to-day -day suffering. But his conditions silently crept up on him and struck when his body experienced a stressful episode. After realizing how much danger he had unknowingly put himself in, Mr. Wu vowed to quit smoking and focus on getting on shape for the sake of improving his health and possibly even prolonging his life. Thanks for watching. Would you rather jump into a filthy pond to escape from an attacking bee swarm or eat a week old unrefrigerated bologna sandwich? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.